Goku has always been a lovable character. He loves his friends and he loves to protect them. But what would have happened if Goku was never a nice boy? This is the story of how Goku ended up killing Master Roshi. Hey how's it going my name is Raf and welcome to Dragon Ball Code. Today we're taking a look at one story that I found pretty interesting in the Dragon Ball multiverse and this is a story of a Goku that was sent to destroy Earth and how he killed Master Roshi and they have other cool stories as well so you should check it out if you like what if stories. The story starts with Master Roshi and Krillin arriving in a town that was just attacked by a huge monster and here Krillin was the only student Master Roshi had at the time. Master Roshi points out that this creature has been attacking different towns for a very long time but it always manages to disappear. They start to think that someone may actually be summoning the beast but they need to find out who. Master Roshi sends Krillin to the woods to search for survivors while he stays in the village to look for clues. As Krillin is looking in the woods he suddenly finds a boy that appears to be all beat up. It's Goku but it's a different Goku from the one we know. His name is Kakarot and he's on a mission to destroy every single human on earth. As Kakarot wakes up, Krillin thinking that he's just a boy who survived the attack starts helping him out and they end up going to a river so that Kakarot can wash up. They start having some fun and suddenly little Kakarot starts having second guesses about destroying Krillin because he has never experienced something like this before. Friendship. So he deals with this internal struggle whether or not he should get rid of Krillin. He doesn't want to be alone anymore. Meanwhile Master Roshi is in the village looking for anything that can lead him to finding out who the summoner is. But then he ends up finding a tail. At that moment Krillin and Kakarot arrive and as Master Roshi gets close to Kakarot he is triggered and releases a fierce attack on Master Roshi. The master manages to defend himself and realizes that the boy is the one that becomes a monster. So he quickly manages to knock out Kakarot to stop him and since Kakarot is just a boy he promises that he will find a way to help him. But Kakarot wakes up, runs away and hides in a nearby cave. Krillin and Master Roshi quickly follow him to make sure that he doesn't escape. Master Roshi tells Krillin to stay outside while he enters the cave. He knows it's a trap so he takes every precaution he can but the cave is pitch black. And this is when it happens. Kakarot ambushes Master Roshi and even though Master Roshi can't see, he can still sense Kakarot's key. So that's not the problem. The problem here is that he can't see his surroundings in the cave and this results in a disadvantage. Nonetheless Master Roshi fights with everything he's got and the brutal clash continues. This goes on for a few minutes ending with Master Roshi releasing a powerful Kamehameha. Everything goes quiet for a second and footsteps are heard coming out of the cave. But when the winner comes out, it's not what Krillin expects. Kakarot is walking and dragging Master Roshi's lifeless body on the ground. Then Kakarot leaves the body and runs away. And Krillin can't believe what just happened and is consumed by sadness. And he is left traumatized but he swears to one day avenge his master and save the world. What do you think about this story? And if you enjoyed this and you would like to support my channel please check out my Patreon page in the description below. And of course if you like Dragon Ball content make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you later.